that is one of the unfortunate concessions that we had to make. One of the one of my goals with the bracket was to be able to um, like pick some losers matches for a stream because I always felt like uh, if I was good to play because I heard you mention losers. Oh yeah, no, we were just we were killing a little time while Danny's showing up. You know, one of, but one of my goals when I first started this bracket was it's always such a bummer to like have a crazy round one and then like lose your opportunity to be on stream for the rest of the tournament. And some people like that. Some people don't like that. Um, one of my things I wanted to do originally was kind of have the loser's bracket be a little bit more structured the same way that our winner's bracket is. So we could do like one round from winners and one round from losers every round. But unfortunately, it just wasn't super tenable and it's not the kind of thing that people were very used to. A, but, a lot of matches thinking about it that's a lot of matches well yeah it would basically it would be the same number of matches it's mostly just trying to keep losers bracket from just playing their games you know because people like getting into the losers bracket and being able to just play at their own pace whenever they want um which i definitely understand looks like we do yeah. have danny on the way here hell yeah Honestly, it's for me. It's where if if I get into lose bracket, okay, it's perfectly fine. It literally happens almost every F and F and every tournament I go. I am destined. It is faded. I am cursed to go down lose bracket in second or first round and just try to fight it from there. It. It's completely understandable. I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with being down there in the bottom bracket. You know, it's uh, it's rough, but when brackets like this, when there's so many high-level players playing, you get into round two. Like, even if you win your round one, that round two is so terrifying. You know, I call it out somewhat frequently where it's like, you have some player who has to play against Danny round two every game, every set, set right? Today is usually our first seed. Danny finna cook. Let's go. We got Shin Phil versus DM El Maza. El Maza. <laughs> He's truly really cooking up the guy. And yeah. even I mean, with his extra steam, that is surprising. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I mean. Danny has a really revived Kai for a lot of people. Danny just being so good at the, uh, just so good at the game and so good at reading the opponents and conditioning them into doing stuff like wake up throws has really brought the Kai Kisuke to the next level. Just uses all those decent tools, run out of the corner and throw exactly. Look at that, taking the round for the first round, first blood over to Danny. Gets Kamari. Even when he's not playing against Pawn, Shinfil always uses that Kamari to approach the neutral, but yep. Danny. 50% Danny off the overhead there. Look at that. Yeah, gonna be going in for the closing of the gap here. Yes, yes, it is Shinfil. Oh, I should. Uh, On different whiffs, did he get the punish? Should give them their <laughs> The almost hits. Oh, there's the burst. Oh, does save you, but the very nice PRC from Shinfil gonna be keeping things punishable there. Bursting to dodge the projectile is a Giga Brain move there, but unfortunately the meter does win out. It does. Here we go. Big 6P here. You get so much damage off of that in the corner as well. 50% no meter super, for though. both players. There's the stun dipper into the red RC. Do we find enough damage here? I'll be so fine enough Not damage dead. here. Who? You know, the, the, it's crazy. I thought red RC was supposed to like scale down your combo so you don't do that much damage. But Danny's just like, nah, nah, that doesn't do that for me. Actually, I'm just gonna. We're, we're just we're just gonna set. It. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't happen. That, that just happens like one time. <laughs> if you do this, it doesn't happen. You know that. But. Danny is looking, he's looking sharp. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking really good. That yep. guy is, is I mean, nasty. Yeah, Danny always looks very sharp. Shin Phil is gonna have to make some adaptations here for sure. It looks like Danny has a little bit of their number, but we will definitely be seeing what uh, what Shin Phil can make happen here. A little bit of change up in the approaches in neutral. It's always the thing that you have to be cautious of. Um, 
when you first kind of come into a match like this. Because if you're playing on layer 5, but they're playing on layer 6, they're just already that one step ahead of you. So you got to start cranking up the speed of the adaptation. Trying to make sure the game's getting played at your speed. Big counter hit getting bursted out. I mean, Shinfil is winning a good number of interactions here. But Danny is just a nice call out. That greedy Fudra arc that Danny is so known for. Oh. What a good call. We're playing a little bit of modern controls here. <laughs> oh, Very oh. good. There's the stun dipper. Into a lot of damage here. Almost, I mean, that might have had enough meter to convert there. Going it's for the fireball to keep it burst safe. Uh, makes it burst safe. Danny, one step ahead. Yeah, Danny I, doing great. What? Just whoa, run whoa. up full screen close slash? That's fucked up. You're supposed oh, to run up throw, Danny. You can't just do that to people. No, no, no. Let him cook. Let him cook. And, of course, every hit converts as well. This character's fucked up. He's so decent at everything. Gets a little 2k into the fireball. What a combo route there, actually. That was kind of wild. Man, I... Danny playing like this... If you show this to someone that have never seen Guilty Gear in their life, he's the best character in the game. Not gonna lie. He's incredible. I'm actually oh putting God. a stream marker there because, yeah, I cannot believe that that combo worked. <laughs> <laughs> that the I mean it probably okay. only worked because of the BRC slowdown, but the 2K into fireball into full screen like carry is absolutely wild. I, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Yeah, it was literally 2K charge fireball and it comboed. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts my soul a little bit on that one. That is funny. There we go. Big counter hit. The Escobari is on. The leash is here. Got to keep Danny locked down in this corner. Just running up without a K in the world. Easier said than done. I mean, I would love to see those JDs come in a little bit. I mean, Danny does do a lot of air approaches, although does typically stay pretty safe. Those uh, uh, JDs can definitely do a lot of work. There's the air dash That's a in. Now you're up with the guy. Beat the <laughs> Super. Oh, uh, that's the Danny classic. It's a little dragon install time to break the wall. Can he? Can he come back? Can he come back? Oh, the PRC that Yo Johnson Whoa. does connect. Danny's gonna spend it all just to not get the dragon install into death. It doesn't even use any it of the dragon install changes, happened. but it finally happened. <laughs> Dragon Soul actually wants around. Yep, Dragon Install does do it on occasion. Okay. I think I want to. Wait, Kara, I think I want a Dragon Install around against you if I'm not wrong. That's I don't potential. remember. Yeah. But Danny is really showing that Kai proficiency. Oh, oh. This is a great combo opportunity for Shinfil getting that close counter hit close slash. He's now dead. Oki in the corner. What a cross up. Nicely done using that Escobari rope. Uh, there, there has to be a, there has to be an option select for that. Oh God! And quick confirm, trying to catch him, but wow, what a cross up, Yozansen on the jump in there. Shin Phil finding the adaptations here. The two H under the fireball. Is he dead? No. He oh wasn't. no! <laughs> the Kai DP is too quick. Gets the burst bait as well. This is devastating. Shin Phil had the ground in the hand. Oh, he had. Yeah, and parry is, is parry? Here we go, the parry. One interaction from either player. They both have meters to work with. There's the JH. Does find the super. I think we got to confirm here. Nicely yep. done. We're officially gaming. Going into our game four here. Oh, The classic Kai DP cross-up. <laughs> Tragic. Yeah, wait, is, is... is it game? Wait. Uh, game four. Oh, wait. It's game four. Yes. Yeah, game Danny four. is up two. Shin Phil trying to make the reverse sweep happen. I definitely believe after seeing that one. Holy. Ooh. You truly love some good ass Kyle gameplay. You know, very good point, uh, Meta Mischief. I got some water right here. Thanks for the hydration. I did need a little bit of hydration. 
Or it might uh, be that Magnolia Fears actually didn't work. <laughs> Gets clipped. Oh, gold, gold burst. Shin Phil giving me my fill of, go of gold burst. Nice job PRCing out of that. I mean, you know, that is one of the options. If Danny's going to be baiting your throw constantly, just hit the PRC button. It is cheating, so you can uh, escape the, the mix-up that Danny has. Just a little IAD back. JS. Danny on match point again. Shinfil had an opportunity to make the full comeback here. Excuse and still does. Is that Kara Kabari? Hello? What a bag dash. Oh, Look at the damage. When Danny realizes that you're going to try to throw the run up, you're already toasted. You just have Look to unbind the throw button. That did 75% off a yep. random. That's another hit right into the ride, the lightning. That's going to be enough to kill there. Danny the with a decisive last out. round. Holy. I swear to God. Some, some people say that Kai is cheap for some reason. And honestly, I can very much see that. He is... Oh. <laughs> Holy! Listen, Kai. Kai is not the toppest of tiers, but Danny is just that guy. All right, we're gonna be getting into our top eight here. We're not gonna be running a break today. I think we can just dive right into it. Let me change my title real quick. Top eight, real quick. And Gee. we are going to be running it as usual, top down. We're gonna get Danny back on here versus Elucid. Then Shadow Wizard was Karase. Shadow Wizard. Hey, I don't More know about Shadow that one. MJ Karase versus Mike Safting, who has made it here this week and is in the uh, made it into the top eight. Mike Safting eager to battle as well. Uh, you know what? We can run this. Go for it. Hey, they are too eager to battle.